how do you approach stand-ups with distributed teams? Um, at the end of the day, the daily scrum or the stand-up has a simple purpose to bring the developers together to get them to plan, to coordinate, to make sure that they're working towards the sprint goal, that they're working on the most valuable work they could be. And if not, coordinate so that they are. So in person, it's really simple. You get them all into one place, you teach them what to do, and we work with smart people. If they see value in it, they'll do it. Online, what changes? Well, actually not a lot. There are always the sort of working, remote working difficulties of communication of do we put cameras on, do we not put cameras on, all the fun stuff that I'm sure everybody is well acquainted with by now. But at its simplest, the Daily Scrum is an opportunity for those developers to come together and sort out what's important today, what's important for the next 24 hours. You'll often hear the three questions. What have we worked on? What am I working on towards the sprint goal? What do I intend to work on next towards the sprint goal? And what's blocking me from achieving that goal? Okay. It's a good structure. It's not required um, by the Scrum Guide anymore, but it's still a good structure. So I still teach teams it and let them evolve away from it at the right time for them. And if they're having that conversation, there's not a lot else to do. The trick has got not a lot to do with the stand up or the daily Scrum. It's whether or not they'll engage in an online conversation. Some teams, you log in and it's deathly quiet. Nobody wants to start talking. Nobody's really there. OK, so we need to work on engagement. We need to start talking to them about why they're not, you know, one on one and inside the whole team. How works best for us, given this shift in environment to an online distributed world? Some teams that I work with, they don't like the idea of getting on the camera first thing in the morning and they've shifted it to an asynchronous stand up. It's not a stand up either. I'm pretty sure they're all sat down, but they go on to a messaging tool and they post an update within a reasonable time frame of getting started. You know, at Agile Center, most people are posting between eight and 10 in the morning as they come online. There's a reminder at 8.45 just to catch people up, make sure that we get it. But some days it doesn't appear until midday. It's not the end of the world because if that was important, we'd have already caught up with them. So asynchronous online can work and it can work really well. But we also have a call, a synchronous call every day that the team that's available dials in and has that conversation. You know, what are we working on? What's most important? How do we reshuffle the work of the day to best effect? Uh -huh. And that came about in the pandemic. We actually had two because we also wanted to make sure that everybody was OK going through it. But that settled to quite a focused conversation about what's the important work. The team's open. It's willing to have difficult conversations remotely because as a company, as a team, we've invested heavily in knowing that we can have those conversations and the company directors the lowest person, if we had anything like that, we don't really, it's a pretty flat hierarchy, but the newest person, should I say, joins the team, very quickly knows that they can speak their mind, they can say things, they can offer advice. Of course, some people are more experienced, some people have been here longer and they're more comfortable, and we work with the new people to get them up to speed. And I think that's the key, is as a scrub master, as a leader in an organisation, is recognising that not everybody's on an equal footing in a distributed team in the same way as they weren't in a co-located team. You had the people who were quieter. You had the people who were shyer. You had the ones who, let's be honest, didn't want to be in the team. And you had to work with them to find accommodations to bring them in. What engaged them? What got them to turn up to your daily scrum, to your stand up and give you know, and offer value? That's what we're doing. We just have to do it more and often more deliberately. We have to think about that new starter. We know that they're going to struggle. You know? So first of all, let's get the basics out of the way. Do they have the technology to join in? Do they have microphones? Do they have cameras? You know? Do we like talking to somebody on Crime Stoppers or do they have a light so we can see their face? It's some pretty basic stuff. Okay. As a Scrum Master, it's not really our role to get it sorted, but to make sure it's sorted absolutely falls within our role. Okay. 
And then we want to talk to them or we want to make sure somebody within the team is talking to them so they know the rules of the road. They're going to come in you know, and we're going to give them space to learn, to adapt. And over time, just gently draw them into the conversation. And the same is for somebody who is maybe quieter. They may not be new to the team, but they just they don't want to engage in this format. Have the conversation. Why? What is it about a distributed format? that they struggle with, if anything at all. Maybe they just don't like it. And as a team, you need to come together and work out what an acceptable way is. Lots of people have talked about distributed working and all the changes, but really at its most basic level, we're still talking about people coming together and working together. Uh -huh. We've just put a webcam in the way. So when we're gonna solve the problems, we're gonna solve them in very similar ways. We're gonna make sure they can engage and that they want to engage and that they want to engage in a way that works for them and everybody else through stunning idea I know talking to each other as ever communication is the key if you've got to this point in the video I hope you've enjoyed it if so a like would be appreciated if you want to hear more from me more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the agile world please subscribe to the channel and if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.